I'm Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. Every semester when I teach on pornography, I ask my class to define it for me. Take a moment yourself now and think, how would you define porn? No, seriously, think about it. All late. Are we all just underpaid porn stars? Generally, the first responses include things like filming two people having sex, which makes sense and seems pretty basic. I ask them if it has to be two people. They stop, think, and say, well, I guess not. I mean, masturbation counts. That can still be porn. I then ask them if someone is just naked. Can it still be porn? They say yes and describe a difference between being sexual and just being naked which I agree with. It's entirely possible to be entirely naked and have it not be sexual. If we look at paintings, sculptures, even a biology book, we see a lot of nudity and it's not necessarily porn. This exchange between the students and I goes back and forth for a while. Someone will argue it must be filmed to be porn, but then will concede when I raise the issue of still photos. Yeah. There was still photo porn before videos online. Eventually my classes will broadly come up with a definition that sounds somewhat similar to the actual definition. Any material, pictures, films, printed material, or device dealing with sexual poses or acts with the intention of causing arousal. Very technical, but probably encompasses all the different ways you can think of porn. I then ask the question broadly to no one person in particular, if you were to take a naked photo of yourself, would it be porn? And if they send it to someone else, would it be considered distribution of pornography? Students will then perk up and respond saying things like, no, it doesn't count because no one was paid, or I took it myself so it isn't porn, or no, I'm not a porn star. So I ask, what about amateur porn? If no one is paid, it's still filmed and put online, has clear intentions of causing sexual arousal, is it porn? Based on the official definition and the one produced in class, of course it is. Have you ever made porn? Seriously, have you ever made porn? According to some new research, the majority of smartphone users have written, directed, produced, and starred in their own little porn feature. Now, depending on the state that you live in, if you're under 18 and take a naked photo of yourself without even sending it to anyone else, you could be charged with creating child pornography. If you send it out, it could be considered distributing child pornography. In 2015, two 16-year-old high school students from North Carolina were arrested for consensually taking naked photos and sending them to each other. They were charged with various felony counts of sexually exploiting a minor, even though they were the minors and had sexually exploited themselves. There have been similar cases in Florida, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Utah, Connecticut, and more. If I were to just ask my class, who here has made a porno, likely no one would raise their hand. Based on the definition though, a lot of them probably have. To some degree, anyone who's ever taken a naked photo could be considered an underpaid porn star. And you might be thinking, yeah, but I only sent it to one person, so it doesn't count. And sure, maybe you did only send it to one person, but what's the exact number that it has to be sent to or viewed by to be considered porn? If you're a parent watching this, have a conversation with your kid about sexting and sending naked photos. If you're under 18 and watching this, understand that something you're participating in right now might seem fun, but it could have real consequences and end you up in hot water. This belief that if someone else takes a naked photo, it's porn, but if you take one yourself, it's not porn, is called cognitive dissonance. And this is when we have different attitudes, thoughts, or beliefs about our own behaviors in comparison to someone else's. So if you've ever taken a naked photo, ask yourself the question, are we all just underpaid porn stars? I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.